Hi everyone, welcome back to Looking for a Headline and News Miss. Today is day 10. I'm Alicia and today I want to talk figure skating. Figure skating is something that I've absolutely loved for my entire life. And today was the start of the Senior Grand Prix Final, which is a huge event in figure skating and something very interesting happened today in the men's short program. Yuzuru Hanyu broke a world record that he set at the last Grand Prix event, the NHK Trophy in Japan. So he set a record for the short program, the long program, and the combined score at NHK. He's only skated the short program in Barcelona at the Grand Prix Final, but he has already broken his short program score from the NHK, setting a new world record at 110.95. His previous score was just over 106. We had all thought that he had skated as well as he possibly could have this season at the NHK, setting three world records, and he managed to outdo himself in just one competition, which was pretty amazing. I mean, the world record has gone up a huge amount in just a few weeks. It was around 103 before then, and it's already gone up something like seven points. Patrick Chan of Canada, three-time world champion, two-time champion of the Grand Prix Final, is in last place right now. He skated the short program and tripled his quad and then did a triple toe in his combination, which made his combination an invalid element. That means he got absolutely nothing for his triple let's triple toe, which left him with a technical score of just over 25 points, which was rough. And on top of that, his axle wasn't great, it was fine, and one of his spins was very nearly a disaster. He almost fell out of his camel spin on a change of edge within the spin. So obviously he lost some points there, he lost a whole lot of points missing the combination, and he only did a triple, not a quad, for the single jump. I don't think anyone who's been following skating this season is all that surprised to see Boyan Jin in third place right now. He has six planned quads between his two programs, which is the most that anyone is attempting, and not only does he do six quads, one of them is the quad lutz, which he does actually do in combination, quad lutz, triple toe, in the short program. Even with an under rotation on the triple toe on the back end of the combination and negative GOEs, he still got over 14 points for that element alone. That's more than half of Patrick Chan's total technical score here. Shoma Uno is in fourth place. He's one of the new Japanese men on the senior circuit and he is also taking the world by storm this year. He's made a huge impression managing to stand out among Japanese skaters, even with the likes of Daisuke Murakami, Yuzuru Hanyu, Takehito Mura, and so many other Japanese men. He's managing not only to make it into the Grand Prix Final, but to be a memorable skater who's got an amazing chance of making the world team in Japan. They only have two spots for the men this year after some disasters last year. Okay. I've been loving the Paris this year and last year. It's come a really long way from even just a couple seasons ago. We're seeing a lot more clean programs, more difficult elements, and we're seeing a lot of content within the programs. Surprisingly, Megan DeHamel and Eric Radford, the reigning world and Grand Prix final champions, are not in the lead right now. They're in third place behind Xenia Stolbova and Alexander Klimov, and Yuko Kabaguchi and Alexander Smirnov. They're only a couple of points behind, but it's still a pretty big upset for them to not be in first after the short. They'd been doing so well, entirely undefeated, until the World Team Trophy last year, and the only team at the end of last year we would have thought could have beaten them isn't even at the Grand Prix Final right now. Sui and Han withdrew from the final, and Megan and Eric are proving that maybe they can be defeated. In better news for the Canadian skaters, one of our newest senior pair teams, Julianne Sagan and Charlie Billado, who just moved up from the junior ranks, are ranked only one spot behind Megan DeHamel and Eric Radford. They had an amazing skate and actually won the technical mark. They lost to the other three teams in terms of the PCS, largely because they don't have the big name that some of these other teams do. I'm super excited to see what else is going to happen this weekend at the Grand Prix Final. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are looking forward to. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.